Hello world of the internet, my name is Simon Miller and welcome to another one of my vlogs. And we do on Monday, we call them Miller's Musings, even though this time, well now I guess I should say, they're all kind of just blending in together. So hopefully you don't mind that, you know, that's just where we find ourselves in 2018. The main point is, a lot of people seem to be enjoying them, you give me some great feedback, and that makes me feel good inside. Again, leave a comment below, let me know what you want me to talk about. Now this is going to be an interesting one. And I'll be intrigued to see what some of the replies are. I'm hoping that we, you know, that my, the, the whatever fan base I have, whatever community I've created around myself, are people who are, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, understanding of all walks of life, because that's how I live my life, as we're about to get into. But as you've seen by the title, I'm always quite surprised. But I do, I've got it a lot ever since I started. Uh, there's always some comments or some tweets or in my Patreon where people mention it. So I was going to talk about religion, talk about religion. You know, I've heard you talk about it here and there. Um, and the reason you've never heard me talk about it more than here and there, you're about to find out about why literally right now, because I don't see, and this kind of maybe acts as a, a counterpoint to what a lot of people consider religion to be. I don't know. But I only talk it from my point of view. Religion to me is a personal thing. It's something that lives in, you know, here and here and here, whatever, you know, you want to call it. And I understand that, you know, when people go, I'm Jewish, by the way, if anybody's interested and you don't know, you've stumbled across this. And I'm, um, I'm a practicing Jew in the sense I don't eat bacon, pork, ham, shellfish, whatever else goes on that list. I don't eat it. Uh, yes, in my younger days, when I was a bit stupid and didn't really understand what food was, I did. But we're talking, I mean, less than five times. You can't even count it on one hand. And again, a lot of it was down to ignorance when I was a kid. I didn't. I didn't know because I was stupid. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Um, but the the you know I understand when people go to a place of worship in the most traditional sense. You know, I go to a synagogue, or if you're Christian, you go to a church, or there's a mosque, or whatever. Uh, and I think that's great. I I really do think the great the way that I live my life is that I more often go to. Uh, the synagogue on high holy days. And if you don't know what that is, that's Rosh Hashanah on Yom Kippur. I'm not going to get into that specifically. I mean, Google's your friend, right? You don't need me to explain that stuff to you. But yeah, in terms of a day-to-day -day walking through life and just existing as a human being, to me, religion is very personal. It's something that lives inside of me. And I would never go around preaching about it. And I don't. And that is not what this is meant to be now at all. If you're, uh, if you're Jewish, great. If you're Christian, great. If you're Muslim, great. If you're Hindu, great. If you're... Um, an atheist. That's you know, it's great. It's none of my it's none of my business whatsoever. And I'm never gonna sit here and stare down the cambulins or talk to you in the street and say, Oh no, you you've got this wrong, or you should come do it my way. Because I don't think that's what religion should all be about anyway. I think it should be something that people find within themselves for whatever reason that may be. And I think it's something that should should be respected um to in, in the little bubble we're talking about now. I, I know there's a there's a you know, wider issue with it. I'll talk about that in a second. But for me, individually and as a human being known as Simon Miller, that's why I don't talk about it that much. I'll always talk about it if somebody asks me, if someone says, Oh Miller, like I've done right now, right? If someone says, Miller, what's your take on religion? Or I kind of, you know, you've picked up that you're Jewish, what's your thoughts on it? I'll I'll talk about it. I'm a very spiritual uh, spiritual person. Um, I just am. It's just it's it's just always been something that has made sense to me. It's something that I enjoy being a part of in my low times. This is how all these vlogs started. It's something that I find great comfort in, uh, and, and that it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, to to be completely honest, and also, I mean, if you know much about Judaism, it's always just made a lot of sense to me in the way I want to live my life. Uh, there, there's different sects of Judaism. I am Reform, and I find Reform Judaism to be very. Uh, reflective, but also very, I don't know the right word, but it, it, it adapts. It adapts and it kind of looks at the modern world and it takes things on board and makes sure it changes its principles to be in line with what is right. And I've always, uh, I've always been a big fan of that because I think, you know, I, I have, I like to think that I'm quite a moral person. I have quite a high moral bar. And yeah, there are certain things that are important to me, but that, you know, again, I'm, I'm a member of the, um, uh, the Edgeware Synagogue, if you're interested. The reason it's Edgeware is because my grandparents lived and they were Jewish, uh, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, that's why I never really talk about it loudly. I know some people go around and that's great. Again, everyone has to deal with it. I think that's the other thing for me as well. Everybody has to deal with it in their own way. People know how they want to respond to it. Uh, it's almost like an instinctive thing once you, you know, once you latch onto it. And that was always mine. I know I'm repeating myself now, but I understand it's quite a touchy subject for some people. So I just, you know, I, I want to get it across. But I do. It, it, it has always been something that I've taken a lot of strength from. And because of that, it's kind of backed up my, like I say, my gut reaction to it anyway, because I was like, okay, well, there is something here. I like it. I kind of want to dig in more, and I digged in more, and I was like, yeah. And in terms of sort of more specifics, I was bat, I was bat, bat, bat mitzvahed with a girl. I was bar mitzvahed when I was a kid. Yes, 
you know, we're talking about the groinal region. I've been circumcised. <laughs> you want to you know, talk about it? We'll talk about it. I uh, hope you go to show. There's all honesty. There's no holding back here. Um, I don't I think that's about it, right? That's pretty much all the, all, all the tick boxes when, uh, when, when we talk about Jewish guys. Now, talking about religion in a, in a, in a, wider, in a wider point of view, I'm not going to sit here and, look and, and talk to you and say that, you know, that religion hasn't been manipulated you know, for, for a negative stance on many things, be it war, money, power, whatever. Like, of course it has. But my always retort to that when people bring it up, and I know people are going to go crazy in the comments and say, I don't agree. That's okay. It's okay you don't agree. But the reason, you know, a lot of people say, oh, religion is responsible for all of, all war. All war is, is responsible for religion. Now, look, religion has been used to start wars, and we've got wars going on right now where the center point is religion. But from my, my opinion uh, of the way I see it, and I understand it's not as simple as this, and I'm, I'm really taking a complex issue and breaking it right down, but given I only do 10-minute vlogs, I don't want to get into it too much. To me, that's a, that's a human problem. That's a human issue. Like, if religion vanished tomorrow, there'd still be humans out there that would want to wage these wars. And they'd do it over money, or they'd do it over power, or they'd do it over relationship. They'd do it over whatever. And that's not, again, that is not me trying to say, oh, we could fix these things really easy. Of course we couldn't. You know, there's a lot of terrible things going on in the world right now. And yeah, you can attribute a lot of those things to religious aspects. But like, I, I'm a religious guy, and... I know, again I, again, I keep saying this, but it's really important. I can only view the world from my point of view. And from my point of view, I would never use it to be manipulative or to try and get one over someone else or to try and make somebody else see, see my, my point of view. And that's when I think the disconnect is. Because for me, I go, like, well, I would never do that. So the people that are doing this are bad people. Or not bad people necessarily, but maybe have got wrapped up in a... Uh, I don't know what that's the word I'm looking for, but in a bubble that was never actually meant to come from religion. And unfortunately, as we've evolved as a society, that's where we've wound up. Uh, and of course it sucks. I mean, I, you know, I, I think sometimes you look at, I don't want to get too deep here, but sometimes you look at some of the stuff going on in the world and what's being said and what's being done, and it is just heartbreaking. And you think, I don't understand how we got here, uh, but it's certainly, it's certainly not ideal. But that's why we're all different. That's why we're all human beings. And like I say, my, my other big thing has always been, if somebody is religious, don't shit on them for it. Don't look down on them for it. Even if you have the complete, you know, 180 perspective, sorry, 360, no, 180, I'm right. 180 perspective from somebody else. Like, respect them and listen to them and hear them out. And maybe you'll have a great discussion. Maybe you won't. Maybe you won't be able to see eye to eye. But, you know, if you do it, uh, I don't say intelligently, because that's not fair either. But if you do it in like a kind and inquisitive way, I think we could get so much more, so much more out of it. Again, if loads of people are watching this right now, going, I, "I'm an atheist," okay, that's that's cool. I'm not here to tell you what to think, and nor do I expect you to tell me what to think. And I, that's the kind of thing I think that always gets lost when we start talking about religion. It becomes somewhat of a slagging match, and I mean, there are even some people out there going, oh, "Religion, you know, what what a pile of crap." Okay, cool. Again, if that's how you see it, great. I mean, I, I get maybe slightly more upset when someone said that because there's negative connotations to that. That's like me going, "Oh, you're not religious. You're a piece of shit." So that one always sort of makes me raise a little bit of an eyebrow because I'm like, well, that's not really respecting somebody that is religious. And if they turned around and said that to you, you may not like it. So I think that's where the issues come up. But I am. I'm Jewish. Uh, I went to Sunday school when I was a kid. I went to Tuesday classes to learn Hebrew. I still speak a little bit of Hebrew, but I've forgotten a lot of it because I'm a stupid adult. I know a bit of Yiddish. Not a lot. We're talking, you can count that on for a hand. I know Bubala. I know Shmerel. I know Schmuck. Uh, I should have written these down before I started. I know another one as well. Anyway, there's a, <laughs> there's um, yeah, just a just a teaser for you. But yeah, I mean, I don't think I can actually sit down here and and properly sort of carve out exactly what I think about uh, religion in a ten minute video. And nor would I want to let this go longer than ten minutes. I just wanted to give you my headline thoughts, much like I like to do with a lot of these. And yeah, I mean, that's it. That that's the way I feel about it. I have. I kind of base a lot of who I am today and a lot of what I've done and hopefully things I'll do on the future on the fact that religion is important to me and it kind of gives me a bed that's always at the bottom of my life that I know is there and it gives me, it does, it gives me a certain pick me up when I need it and a certain confidence when maybe I'm feeling a little bit down on, on my luck. And I'm sure everybody has one of those, be it religion or something else. And I think that's why we should attach ourselves to these things that we enjoy and that speak to us and make sense to us and just try and use it, use it's the wrong word, but just enjoy it, you know, for, for whatever it is. That's my opinion. That's how I see it. Judaism for life. <laughs> uh, we, we, went in, we talked about everything today, including my, including my junk. We'll wrap it up there. Again, please leave me a comment below. 
Uh, hopefully everyone's going to be as respectful as possible. That's not really aiming at people that do watch my videos. It's the people that may find it through SEO or whatever. Uh, I know it's a bit of, like I say, it's a bit of a touchy subject. And some people just downright don't care for it. And again, I, you know, that's, that's cool on those people. But unfortunately, those people usually come with, you know, yeah, you're an idiot and things like that. And yeah, it does upset me sometimes. It does, because I would never do that to anybody else. And again... Treat people like you treat yourself and hope everything works out okay. Like the video, share the video, leave a comment below. Blah, blah. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll be back probably at some point another week with the vlog. Try to do two a week, something like that. So if you've got anything you'd like me to talk about, go below. Leave me a comment. Tweet me at Simon316. And I'll see you soon.